More people are making YouTube shorts in 2023 than ever, so it's getting hard to get your shorts noticed. And if you're not following the latest best practices, I can guarantee you, your shorts won't get any attention. Greg Priest here, partnering with Social Loop, and I know from experience how hard it can be to get your YouTube shorts noticed. But these 13 amazing tips on how to get your YouTube shorts noticed based on what the biggest creators are doing have really helped me, and I can't wait to share them with you. So grab a notepad, pay attention, and let's jump in. So with more people making YouTube shorts than ever before, you need to find ways to make your shorts stand out from everyone else's. You need something unique to you, just like a superhero's special power. Think about a returning character or a special editing style that will make your shorts unique. For example, you could use a specific color grading or animation style that becomes instantly recognizable and memorable. So. Pause this video and write down three unique elements that you could use in your shorts to make them stand out. Tip number two, don't forget the importance of timing. Just like a perfectly executed dance routine, you're gonna to wanna to check your audience activity to see when your viewers are most active. Look for this chart in the YouTube Studio Audience tab and the times when the purple is most brightest is when most of your viewers are online. And this is the time that you want to post. I used to post my shorts completely randomly, but when I started following these most active times, I noticed a significant increase in the views that my shorts got. When you're repurposing your longer videos into shorts, make sure to take the time to properly adapt your longer videos into the short format, just like a tailor properly adjusting a suit. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. I've learned firsthand that simply taking your long form videos, shortening them down, cropping them vertically, and re-uploading them as shorts just doesn't work. You're going to want to add a compelling hook to the start of your short, such as a question to the viewer or an intriguing visual to entice them to watch right to the end of the short. So right after you finish watching this video, take the time to watch other people's successful shorts and note what they do at the start and use that as inspiration for how you can hold your viewers' attention when you make shorts in the future. Right, next, you're going to want to analyze where the views are coming from for your shorts, just like a detective solving a mystery. So for example, say one of your shorts is getting a lot of views from search. You're gonna to want to add and optimize that video's descriptions and tags so that it's set up to get even more views from search. I found this strategy of doubling down on what is already working, game-changing in getting more views for my shorts. Tip number five, keep your viewers engaged by introducing pattern interrupts into your shorts every two to three seconds. In my experience, just like fireworks lighting up the sky, this technique works amazingly in holding your audience's attention. You could alternate between different camera angles, add sound or visuals to keep your shorts interesting and keep viewers watching it for longer. So take a moment, grab a pen and write down three potential pattern interrupts you could use on your next shorts. One way to boost your shorts visibility is to add custom thumbnails to them, just like books have enticing book covers. I've noticed that for shorts that are getting a lot of views from browse features, which is the homepage, a captivating thumbnail can make all the difference in getting a high click-through rate on that short, which in turn gets you more views and more engagement. Want to give your shorts a second chance? Just like a phoenix rising from the ashes, if one of your shorts underperforms, you can simply take it down off YouTube and re-upload it. I've tried this tactic myself, and sometimes if you were just unlucky the first time, YouTube will retest the video and make it go viral the second time you upload it. This technique is particularly useful if you've made improvements to your shorts or just if the topic you're talking about has retrended in the time since you first uploaded that short. Viewer emotions can play a significant role in a YouTube short's performance. Like a magnet attracting metal, focus on creating shorts that spark an emotional reaction from your viewer, like excitement, inspiration, or nostalgia. Speaking from my own experience, taking the time to do things like, say, add a heartwarming story into my short has really resonated with my audience, generating more views, and more engagement. So I want you to think of some emotional connections that you can create in your shorts and just start writing those ideas down. 
So like a mechanic fine tuning a car, use YouTube Studio on desktop to optimize your shorts. When I started adding descriptions, tags, categories to my shorts, I noticed a significant increase in their visibility and performance. Trust me, it's worth the extra effort. Boost your shorts performance like a surfer riding on the wave of attention by using trending hashtags in your shorts descriptions. This strategy helped my own shorts appear in the hashtag shelf and just made it easier for viewers to find my shorts. You can find trending hashtags by browsing popular shorts in your niche and just seeing what hashtags those shorts use. So why don't you take a few minutes now to just research what hashtags are working well in your niche and let us know what they are by just writing them down below in the comments. Engagement is crucial for short success. I've noticed myself that engaging with my audience not only helps me build a more connected following, but it also helps me boost my shorts videos engagement rate, which gets me more views on YouTube. Plus responding to comments is a great way to get feedback, new ideas, and also find opportunities to collaborate with other creators in the future. Use retention graphs in YouTube Studio, just like a treasure map to find golden opportunities to improve your shorts watch time. By understanding exactly what points your viewers are dropping off, you can pinpoint the moments in your shorts that need improving. Personally, I've learned a lot about my own skills of making videos by analyzing my retention graphs. So for example, if a lot of people leave at one point, consider either cutting it or making it more engaging. You know, for example, you could add a plot twist to a story to keep people watching. Really, if I can just get you to do one thing today after watching this video, it's analyze your retention graph and just find one area that you can tweak and improve in the future. Right, next tip, don't forget to use a call to action at the end of your shorts, like a tour guide directing tourists for the next traction. I found this to be a great way to drive traffic to my longer videos, increase watch time, and at the end of the day, get more subscribers. Simple, effective call to actions you could use could be watch this video next or subscribe for more content like this. By the way, remember to subscribe to this social loop channel. But you may have missed our list of 11 beginner YouTube shorts tips that you need to follow to go viral in 2023 that we made last week. So make sure to watch the video that you see on screen next. It's probably gonna be over here somewhere to learn all of those 11 tips from last week, plus the 13 tips you've learned today to ensure that your shorts pop off in 2023. And thanks for watching.